guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be ranking my palettes for the month of January. So in 2020, I am doing a low buy project and I am only allowing myself to buy four eyeshadow palettes a month. So I put my four palettes in a basket and I am going to rank them for you. So if you guys are curious to see how I rank these palettes, just keep watching. Okay guys, so this is really funny because I am not prepared and I think this video is a good testament of what was happening in 2019. This is much more scaled back, I would imagine for me, um, because I was buying so much in 2019. I couldn't keep up with what I had bought, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's still palettes in my collection that I bought last year. You guys have never seen on my channel, which really was a disservice to my subscribers. It was a disservice to my wallet, which is the main reason I'm on this low buy journey is to make the best use of my investment. So if I'm buying makeup, I want to be able to show it to you. I want to be able to review it for you. I want to get the best return of my dollars spent. I hope that all makes sense to you guys. So I did buy, I actually bought, technically I bought five palettes in January and I'll talk about that in like a low buy update and my haul video. So I was like mostly successful for my low buy but we're still learning, we're still, we're still making progress so I will talk about that more in an update video, but my official purchases of January 2020 are in this basket. So I'm gonna rank them. I only have four and for number four, this is basically by default because I haven't tried this palette yet and we are now on the 2nd of February and it's crazy because it's just been sitting there and I've really, really, really wanted to do a first impressions. Like I wanna film me using this palette for the first time but I haven't found the time which tells you crazy things about my life. Anyway, so this is the Tati Beauty palette. I wasn't planning on buying this but so many people love this palette, so many people hate this palette that I really, really wanted to find out for myself, so I bought it. This mirror is huge, and I don't want to blind you guys with it, but here is what it looks like, just so you guys can see a close-up. It's very heavy, it's very nicely made. This palette did not catch my attention at all when she first did her video and stuff on it, and... I don't love Tati, but I definitely don't dislike Tati. She's always one of those gurus I like to watch if it's a product I want to know more about because she gets a lot of stuff in PR and tends to do videos before anyone else. So that's when I usually go to her channel, but I have seen so many people either say they love this or hate this, so I wanted to see for myself. So if you guys are interested, definitely keep an eye out on my channel because I will film a first impressions video on this when I use it for the first time. Or if not, if I just use it, I will do a review, etc., etc. So this one, by default, is number four. So if I had tried the Tati palette and I liked it or whatever, this one would have been number four. But yeah, this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Golden Opulence palette. This is the one she came out with for the Chinese New Year celebrations or the Lunar New Year celebrations. So this is, this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful neutral palette. My thing is I don't really like to buy Pat McGrath for neutrals. I have plenty of stunning neutral palettes at a fraction of the price of this one. So that's why I'm ranking it kind of lower. But I think if you don't have a ton of eyeshadow, if you're a very neutral girl, if you want an easy formula to work with, or you're a bougie bish and you want a nice high-end palette but it's neutral, I would definitely recommend something like this over like say, for example, Tom Ford Coco Mirage, which I think is junk. So. I'd rather steer you in the direction of Pat McGrath if you're into neutrals and you want something high-end. But for my collection, this doesn't really add anything. And so I've decided in 2020, I need to take a little break from Pat McGrath. I'll still keep buying her big palettes because I'm kind of a collector of those. 
I have to slow down on these little random collections that she does here and there because I don't need to buy every Pat McGrath palette and I've kind of fallen into that trap at the end of December with the Star Wars and stuff. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pause, reevaluate. It has to like blow my mind if I'm gonna buy another Pat McGrath palette anytime soon. So then number two, again, kind of by default because I haven't really used these a ton, are my Makeup Geek palettes. Now, technically I did buy two, so that's five more. Uh, one more that I said I was gonna buy, but I just really wanted this green shade in here. If you guys know me, I love green. And so when I saw that, I forgot that it was a power pigment. Luckily, I don't own her power pigments, but yeah, I was so attracted to that little green shade, this like bright green that I bought this. And then I also had bought at the end of December, the little Midas Macchiato palettes. It's really funny that I'm finding myself really gravitating towards these like little quad green color stories. So the Midas one I've only tried once yet so I'm not, I haven't done any videos with my Midas stuff yet. But I actually really like this. I think this is really cute. If you've been considering checking out the Makeup Geek rebrand, I would recommend. I haven't done a video on this yet but this was really nice. The foil shade just like glided on my eye. So I was really, really impressed. And then the palette I ended up picking up, this was a pre-made color combo and it's called like something fantasy. So pretty. My only gripe with this so far is I hate that there's like a gap in the packaging here that's like really off-putting to me. It makes me think that these are from like a different situation like leftover palettes because her big matrix palettes also have a clear top so i'm not sure why the nine pans come in a not clear top because that just makes good sense to me to have it be clear so you can find your palettes easy but who am i to judge but a lowly small youtuber so just keep that in mind conspiracy theory allegedly from me. <laughs> and then my number one palette from January. I'm so excited. You guys would have seen this in another ranking video as well. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it so much. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy collab. I did a video with this. I want to do more videos with this. I would really, really, really like to make it my goal of 2020 to film a multiple looks with one palette video. That's like one of my goals. The thing is like, I don't have time to sit and film, so usually I do it on the weekends. And a lot of YouTubers that have full-time jobs and make YouTube videos will film multiple eyeshadow looks on the weekends. But to me, it's like, I would be so sad if I had to wash this eye look off that I have on right now to do another look. I like to film multiple videos with the same look. I don't know, hopefully I can kind of mentally adjust and film multiple looks in one day, but I love to have my look on, you know, for multiple videos because I, I love them so much. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll do a multiple looks video with this palette, I don't know, but just know I've been loving this. I've been wearing it to work. I love the look I came up with in my demo of this palette. So it's been a lot of fun. I would recommend it. I think it's beautiful. I had a little bit of trouble with the shade Leo. It was a little bit crumbly. I don't love that blue, but the shade Barb, the shade Anastasia, Cupcake, OG, New Yorker. Oh my God, I love these tones. These are my tones. Thank you very much. And I would honestly recommend you guys picking this palette up. Of all the palettes I showed you guys today, um, Marisi palette is top, top, top for me. So I hope you enjoyed this little ranking video. Let me know your feedback. I want to do more ranking style videos in 2020. I got so many New Year's resolutions, it's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, I want to do more ranking videos. I want to talk about the same palettes multiple times on my channel. I think that's important. It's important to me. I just want to give my purchases more time to shine. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.